Hello everyone, I'm Marcelo Amaral and this is Sun Yun. We are from IBM Research from Tokyo and we are going to present today uh, updates about the Kepler project. So for those that are not familiar with the Kepler project, the Kepler project is a uh, recently new project that uh, Red Hat started in 2022 and IBM joined efforts to make the project more robust and reliable. It's a project that it's, it's to use, uh, is to measure the energy consumption of the process and aggregate that to the container, pod, and application level. Uh, it's possible to collect the energy consumption in real time for the applications uh, and also in more fine grain, like at the container and pod level. Uh, differently from the cloud providers that are providing information monthly for the applications, it's possible to collect that, again, so on real time and enable uh, further optimizations uh, for the application and for the cluster. It's also accepted as CNCF sandbox in May of 2023. So what does, how, does it, how does it work for those that are not familiar with Kepler? So we first collect information about the process, for example, the resource utilization, and also we collect information about the power consumption in the machine. If it's a bare metal node, we can collect the power consumption from the hardware uh, sensors. If it's not a bare metal, it's a virtual machine, we need to use trained power models to get the power consumption of different components. And then the basic assumption to determine the power consumption of a process, it's something like, if the process is using 10% of the CPU, 10% of the power consumption, it's related to this process. It's as simple as that. However, uh, we have, uh, when we go to the training power model, we have something more complicated that works under the, the, the wheel, but it's, uh, it's the assumption to do the, the ratio of the, distribute the power consumption of the components to the process. Okay, Okay, so Kepler has been uh, growing the, uh, the, the, uh, the popularity in the community. So it's, for example, we can see here, uh, 15 months ago, uh, it was around 480 stars uh, in the project. And then October of this year, it's more than 1,000 stars for the projects. We have, Kepler has been also been um, comment in the previous keynotes in the KubeCon, oh sorry, yep, <laughs> and uh, in the KubeCon, and uh, it's been growing community. We have been also invited. Uh, we are from maintainers of the Kepler project. We have been invited to the keynote for other conference, and it's becoming popular. And some companies are being also using Kepler. Okay, and as I mentioned, so we have we have presented Kepler in more than 30 talks and several blog, blog posts and publications. Uh, we are from the research department. We have been also doing uh, research investigations to improve the power model for the, uh, to, to measure the power consumptions of the process. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm Sanya Nan and I'm going to talk about the recent activity on the Kepler. I would like to start my part from the Kepler project ecosystem. Specifically, I would like to start from the people that we have. Um, from the time of the capturing, I see it's like 50 contributors to the Kepler main repository. But just before I coming up, I shake it again and now we have a 50, 51. And uh, we would like to provide reliable container energy metrics. So uh, in addition to our main repository, we also have uh, uh, several side projects going on for the quantifications, access optimizations, and automations. So I would like to update the activity, not, not just only the main repository, but also the side project as well. So what's our recent update that we have today? We have uh, after the KubeCon EU last, uh, uh, in last March, we have a new contributors and they contribute a lot on the eBPF improvement, including the significant change that we replaced the libbpf goal with the Cilium goal. 
And we also like, want to expand our energy matrix consumed by the SLA, the device, not just only the GPU, but also from various, from the various vendors. And we have updated our VM power model training pipeline. We have updated the development process. Okay. And we have a VM power model validations. We have a new project that have a bot actions to report the uh, validation results uh, mostly daily. And we have a code refactories, bug fix documentations, and so on. So in short, like how things is going in the Kepler, we grow almost doubles from the last years. We see and hear our stories uh, here and there. And there's many rooms to contribute. And you can meet us at IBM booth on Friday at 1 PM. And please don't forget to check out our project and join our Slack channel, Kepler Project in the CNCF workspace. Thank you.